Hi hey folks, um, I wanted to make a video, I've um, tried to make this video, this is my third attempt over the past couple of days, um, I keep not being terribly happy with them, um, so I'll try it again, um, I realized I've been basically, um, for the most part offline pretty much over the past few months until quite recently, um, I've just been very busy and when I say that I'm not trying to sound self-important at all, I've just had, um, a lot of stuff going on. I uh, purchased a one-bedroom apartment, a condominium here um, in Hartford that um, I'm going to be renting out. Um, it was an estate. It needed to be um, completely repainted. It had uh, broad loom carpet throughout that needed to all get ripped out. It was 30 years old and faded and marked. Um, I got the floors refinished, everything's been painted, I've been had to restore all the windows which I didn't realize going in but they were really all the putty was flaking off and they were the glass was about to fall out and um, this apartment is on the seventh floor um, so I didn't really want to be losing glass. <laughs> um, so anyway so I've been working on that I wasn't really expecting that going in that's kept me much busier than I was anticipating. Um, but everything's well, um, and I wanted to um, give you guys an update on how my Filofax is working. Um, I've been busily talking about it online lately in terms of what my setup is and that it's working for me, but I don't know that I've actually sort of demonstrated what it is anywhere. Um, I do love, love, love this binder. Um, I'm, I think this was absolutely... Um, I was a little apprehensive because I, I paid quite a lot of money for it, but it's totally worth it. Um, it's beautifully made. It's an excellent, I mean, it was basically brand new, in the box, um, preserved since 1989. Um, and I have all the inserts that went in it too, but they're all tucked away upstairs. Um, my setup is largely the same, and um, in terms of A to Z, a to Z index for my um, information and reference information, notes, projects, and stuff are all in this A to Z, filed in this first A to Z index with the big letters up here. And then towards the back, um, I have a cotton cream um, slimline address book that was kindly sent to me by Frederic all the way from France, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, and that's all of my contacts. Um, and between the two of these, um, basically I just, the back one really is, it's, it's contacts. I also have some account numbers back there for like utility companies, um, stuff like that. But, um, but most, uh, basically it's mostly just it's phone numbers, addresses, um, I've got a bunch of email addresses in here too, but it's primarily physical, like, you know, physical addresses and telephone numbers. Um, this up here is much more kind of, the front one is much more notes and information. Um, I know which which one to look in for everything, but I realize that it's probably not totally abundantly clear to everybody else, but this is my tool. So, um, and I know that, um, a lot of people like to have a lot of different um, binders that they like. They sort of facet out their life into several different um, file of faxes. They'll have like a work one and a home one and a housekeeping one and a knitting one and everything. And I think um, I think that's cool. Every time I've tried to run more than one file of fax at a time, I fail um, pretty immediately. I think. It, for me, it really all needs to be in one book. So if you're kind of new to these, if you're not sure what's going to work, um, you can try both ways, see what makes more sense to you. But um, for me, a lot of the functionality of the book stems from the fact that everything is in one book. And it's very, a very portable book at that. So um, it really kind of becomes my command central. Um, things like any stray envelopes that I've stray thing, you know, checks that need to get deposited, bills that need to get paid, 
um, the bill stubs that I need to file, um, all this sort of just, you know, stray things that, receipts, um, telephone numbers, all sorts of stuff that gets on stray pieces of paper, it just all gets tucked within the covers of this and then eventually um, gets put away or gets incorporated into this. Like if I wrote down some, if somebody wrote down a phone number or something on a post-it note or on, I got one of those telephone messages at work, um, it goes in here and eventually gets copied in where it needs to go. Um, and what am I saying? I don't know, I've completely lost track. Anyway, um, so aside from being just a planner, it's also very much sort of like the command center for my life. And, um, and it's anytime I find that there's information that I don't have in here that I have to look up, um, I give it a moment's thought. If it's something that I'm fairly confident I'm going to need again, um, I will just copy it in here. Um, if I'm pretty confident it's a one-off thing that I'm never going to need again, I don't bother. Um, and that means that as I use the book longer and longer, it becomes more and more functional. Um, I've been able to... It only... This this binder, I live... I had a 30 millimeter ring binder for most of the year. Um, this one only has 23 millimeter rings, and they are perfect... Well, 7 eighths of an inch, according in file effects speak. Um, these 7 eighths of an inch rings are fine because I slimmed my diary down and the way that I was able to make that work was to add a notes page. So I'll just talk about that quickly. Um, Angela from uh, Paper Love Story sent me a cotton cream week on two pages um, in September I think. Um, and so I started using it right away. Um, I did at some point, I tried to like draw a line down the middle of the page and put appointments on one side and to-dos on the other, but that quickly stopped working for me. Um, I subsequently tried um, just at, sort of following what um, Tracy at the Crazy Suburban Mom blog does, where she starts with the to-do sheet and then adds more of them through the week. So you just have like a running list of things that need to get done and it just kind of gets added to and copied um, as needed. And that seems really brilliant to me because on weeks that you don't do much you won't have much paper and on weeks that you do a lot you'll have more paper but it kind of keeps the paper continuum um, smooth. And but I found that for my needs, when I tried to do that, that I quickly lost track. I, I need I need to, in some, at least loosely, to schedule my to-dos onto specific days. Um, it's m most essential. It really, it, I screw things up otherwise. And um, so what I do, and you'll see I've got these sheets. These are, I hacked up a small Clairefontaine notebook because I love the paper. Um, these were, you can see the rounded edge at the top and the bottom. This was, the, the notebook is six and three quarters inch tall. Um, so I just had to chop some of the inner margin off from the gutter and then punch. And so I've got a whole stack of this and I've bought a 10 pack of these little notebooks. So, um, I've got plenty of paper for the next few years probably. And I... Divide it out into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Whoops. No, that's wrong. Sorry. This is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I know everybody, we all complain about the fact that Filofax uh, gives you less space on the weekend, but I've actually found that I really don't need a whole lot of space on the weekend. It's like I've got five or six major things that, at the most, that I'm planning to do on the weekend. They're usually more in the way of, you know, projects and chores, um, a few appointments, you know, I might be having dinner with somebody or be planning to go out of town or something. I don't need a huge spread on the weekend. And when I had it, when I flip back and look at my day on two pages that I was using for most of the year, most of my weekends had literally like one or two lines on that whole two page spread used. So 
Um, this is fine. Um, on the flip side, I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then this, um, this column is personal, and this one is work. Personal and work. Um, so I actually, like, I divide the page oriented to sort of keep the writing a little bit away from the rings. I know people don't like writing up against the rings, but you can see that I do it and it works. Um, you just sort of have to be a little bit more careful with your pen. Um, what dividing this, I used to just write lists and I would use one color for personal things and one color for work things. By dividing the page I can just use one, I can just carry one pen with me. Um, this pen loop is tiny. I've got a mechanical pencil in it that I use for all of my um, appointments, forward planning basically. Um, to do's, I like to write them in ink, although I do write them in pencil fairly frequently because that's just what I've got. Um, I tend to carry a fountain pen in my shirt pocket or my jeans pocket or whatever, so I will um, use that and just write it in the appropriate column and then it's completely obvious to me whether it's a work item or a personal item. Um, I do use one planner for my whole life and part of that is it's like when I'm at work I remember that oh I need to you know pull the laundry off the clothesline when I get home from work and I write it down. Um, when I'm at home I remember that oh my god that budget is due tomorrow so I write it down. It's like I don't want to have to go scrambling for another book every time. I've got such a scattered brain that these things just come to me anytime, anywhere, and I just want to be able to put them in the appropriate place right then. Um, this book really helps me with that a lot. Um, so this was a particularly busy few days, although one of these days you'll see almost none of these to-do items actually got checked off. I have no idea what was going on. It looks like almost all of them got shifted into the following day's list and then did subsequently get done. I'm wondering if something... I can't remember. I'll have to check my journal. I don't know if I something must have come up that day. But most days, like some days, there's very little. Like this day, I, I don't know if I didn't work or what, but there's nothing written in the work column. This one, there's only two things. This one, there's several. Um, so it goes back and forth, um, different days I do different stuff, and usually I only put these to-do sheets in um, when I'm approaching the week that I'm going to be using them. So usually on Thursday or Friday, sometimes not until Monday, do I actually take out a ruler and a little fine-tipped pen and draw out my grid on this. Um, I've tried keeping this block, continuing the line down, having Saturday, Sunday. Um, I found it better just to leave it open and just sort of have Saturday, Sunday as a block. Um, weekend days I tend to just view as being contiguous time, so. Um, and yeah, so this, um, this is all working fine. I think um, one other th detail of this particular diary setup is it's got this this week block here. Um, I use that a lot for forward planning. So as I'm thinking about things that I need to be doing in the future, um, I sort of look at this book, see where I've got weeks that are not yet heavily sort of encumbered with stuff, and I'll write things like, sometimes it's really very loosey-goosey, like this broad project, and I just write the name of the broad project, and sometimes it's a more specific like reminder that I actually have a deadline that week that... Um, I need to, or the following Monday something is due, so I'll write it in and it's pretty specific. Um, at any rate, that's enough to kind of keep my brain cued that I need to look at these things. Um, once in a while I do still lose track of something, usually eventually it pops back into my brain, um, but no system is perfect. Um, and I really find, I know some people like these very highly structured um, formats that they can just sort of everything has a place and it's, it's but um, I think my life is not that complicated and I don't like to over plan especially my professional life because I work in an extremely reactive work setting um, I would say probably at least 80% of my work is responding to things that have come up um, and so I've got about 
only 20% of my time to devote to sort of moving forward projects that I've devised. So it's important that I keep track of them, but really the vast part of my day, it's like I come into work sometimes with a completely empty to-do list, and within the first few hours, within like two or three hours at the office, it's full. Um, And it's primarily stuff that needs to get done that day or needs to get done in the next 48 hours or so. So... um, Anyway, and so moving forward, looking into future weeks, I don't have that to-do page, so it makes it really easy to see sort of at a glance what's going on on any given week. Um, For 2013, I'm going to try my Dodo Pad. If it doesn't work well, I'll just buy another one of these um, cotton cream things. I'm not crazy about the cotton cream paper, but I like this because I feel like it gives me even more space so the cotton cream diary has that this week block this has a whole blank page it constricts you a little bit in terms of the scheduling block but I think I'm just gonna treat I don't think I'm gonna use the vertical columns much I'll probably just write straight across and most days I don't have more than two or three um, scheduled things to do whether that's an appointment a meeting um, whatever. So I think especially if I kind of keep sort of my daytime stuff in the first three columns and maybe reserve the evening for sort of after hour, like outside of work time stuff that I'm doing, um, use this side for sort of week planning. And then I can just interleave that to do sheet that I've been doing. Um, it might require some tweaking, but, um, I put a little, a little tape flag thing here. I don't use these very much at all. And um, I've got a whole supply of them stuck back here, but I'm thinking about removing them because I use them so infrequently and they're always falling out um, because they don't, they no longer stick that well to this piece of, this plastic envelope. Um, But I stuck one on here just so I can quickly flip to the front of 2013. This is the week that 2013 starts on. Um, My contacts are totally comprehensive. Um, They get more so continually, and I really like having them. I know a lot of people have dumped this section completely out of their file effects. Um, I find it so much more convenient to look up information than to have to go poking around through, like, the online directory at work, or poking into my Blackberry or whatever. I just, for some reason, I just find this is, like, this is always, it tends to always be right at hand, and I can just flip open to it. Um, I leave my phone in my bag at work all day, so... My bag is tucked under my desk somewhere. So this tends to be my go-to place. I do have a desk Rolodex at work, and I have a Rolodex at home. Um, Those primarily serve as backups. I do keep... um, My work Rolodex is really comprehensive. Um, I only keep sort of the most essential work contacts in my file effects because this is mine, not works. So um, I do... I do consider that I spent so much money on this system over the past year, Um, so I just sort of view it as this very generous, in-kind donation to my work. I I don't know what else to say. Um, We got, we were, received a memo that that they didn't really want to buy us paper calendars anymore, but if we did want paper calendars, we could choose from one of two equally crappy options. I have never had them buy me a calendar anyway, just because uh, first I didn't use one, and then later when I did use one, I wanted I had very specific wants, and they were not willing to satisfy them. Um, I do think, though, if I were in management, um, I would encourage people to try paper. I know it's not for everybody, but I think that it's an exceptionally... I, I've been really successful with this far, far more than I ever was with using the electronic tools that they give us, um, which I find pretty crappy. So, um, I definitely don't see the logic in saying that we're going to try to save money by not buying people planners if that's what they want. Although I do know a lot of my colleagues only really use their planner to write meetings into, and that seems kind of silly too. Um, at any rate, that's where we're at with this. Um, I really, really, really love this binder. I'm glad I found the red one. Um, I don't know, had I had a choice of color, um, 
if I would have chosen this color, but now that I've lived with it for a while, I find it, first of all, it always looks professional. Um, I was in jacket and tie at work yesterday, and I'm carrying this around with me, and it looks perfectly, it looks very professional. Um, but then it also looks very professional in a more relaxed setting. Um, but perhaps most sort of functionally, when I put this down somewhere um, and wander off because I got distracted, um, it's really easy to find it again because it's really a bright color and it stands out. So that's great. And the only thing that's not held up on it, I don't know, I don't think I can get that to show very well. Can you see that? I don't know. The lacquer on this button here um, came to me slightly cracked. There you can see it now. Um, and one day I pulled it out of my bag and it had just completely chipped off. Um, thankfully the under the metal underneath has some kind of a red primer on it, so it's not terribly noticeable. Um, most Winchester, well used Winchesters I've seen in pictures don't have this button on at all anymore. Um, I'm not taking issue with it. Um, I do not baby this thing at all. The leather seems completely, totally bulletproof. Um, I am kind of amazed at how nicely this holds up. Um, and unlike the new Filofaxes that have all this added bulk because they like stuff the covers with cardboard, um, so it's like extremely thin layers of leather wrapped around cardboard, and um, which makes them um, I don't know what it makes them. They just, I don't know, they just look puffy and bloated to me. This one is nice and trim. Um, it's a little bit shorter than my other personals, so the height. Um, it's a little bit narrower, and it's certainly, despite the fact that it's the same size rings, it's like total thickness is less. Um, and the leather, it, like this cover is very sturdy. Um, and not floppy like some of the new ones are, but um, it, I mean, it's pretty darn flat. It wasn't this flat when I first started using it, but within a week it was. Um, and now it's certainly like, it'll, it flips open. Like it sits on my desk perfectly flat. No problem. It does not try to close itself. Um, I will have to weed it out a little bit. It's getting a little bit full. Um, it's this gusseted pocket in the back I found handy. I keep envelopes back here. Um, I always like to have some envelopes with me. I, I'll dash off a letter um, when I'm stuck somewhere, and if I have an envelope, um, I also keep stamps in here. I've got addresses. I can just, like, dash off a letter when I'm sitting somewhere and pop it in a mailbox, and it's on its way. Um, in front, I've got um, a business card in the ID pocket here. Um, and then I've got another little stash of them in this uh, larger pocket. Um, and I don't know what I have in this big one. Something. Some piece of paper that I need to file. Um, so it's definitely... one. I did have to... When I got this, I really did have to give up on the idea of using it as a wallet. Um, it just won't work. But it works perfectly um, for what it's trying to do. And honestly, to some degree, having a wallet in my pocket is somewhat more convenient. At any rate, I see I've gone on for 23 minutes, so I'll tie this up. If you have questions, pop them in my comments. Um, and if anyone's interested in any of my other file faxes, I have the Cavendish, I have a mini Windsor, and I have a slimline brown Finsbury. Um, I love this so much. If anyone is like really, really, really dying to have any of those other ones, I'd probably be game to sell them off because I'm pretty, I'm totally confident that this is going to fill my needs for the long haul. Um, I wouldn't, I'm not like dying to get rid of any of them. I love them all, but um, I think this is. Um, this fills my needs, they're just taking up space. Oh, and my success choice planner too, which is quite lovely, but much too big for my needs. Um, so anyway, if, if anyone's really keen on any of those, let me know. Um, otherwise, if I really decide that they need to go, I might, um, I'll might. i probably put them on ad spot at Filofaxi at some point, but I'm, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it went on so long, and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.